this problem, we're given um, different concentrations of either hydroxide or H3O plus, hydronium ion, and we're asked to calculate the H3O plus or the hydroxide given one or the other, and then think about the solution and label it acidic, basic, or neutral. So we're going to be using these information here in green. If the Kw, I mean, um, the Kw is 1 times 10 to the minus 14th, and that's equal to the two concentrations multiplied by each other. This is from the auto-ionization of water. Um, we'll then think about the pH of the solution. If um, the hydroxide concentration is exactly equal to the H3O plus, we call the solution neutral. If the solution has a greater concentration of hydroxide, it's basic. If the solution has a greater concentration of H plus or H3O plus, uh, the solution is going to be acidic. So let's get started. In this A, we have 2.5 times 10 minus 4th molarity of H3O+. Plus. So we want to go ahead and, um, again, use this uh, equation here, solve for the hydroxide concentration. And what we have is the hydroxide concentration is equal to Kw over the H3O plus concentration which if we plug those numbers into this um, expression, we have 10 to the minus 14 over 2.5 times 10 to the minus 4. And on my calculator, I get 4 as a value, but remember, to two sig figs, all right, two sig figs in the starting, two sig figs in the ending, result here, we get 4.0 times 10 to the minus 11th, okay? So what concentration is greater? Is H3O plus greater or is um, hydroxide concentration greater? H3O plus concentration is greater, so we would label the solution as acidic. Alrighty, let's take a look at this uh, second problem here. H3O plus is 2.0 molar. So to find the hydroxide concentration again, we uh, solve for hydroxide, and that's Kw over H3O plus. Plugging in um, some numbers here, we get 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 over 2.0. And on my calculator, I get uh, 5, but you want to uh, express this in two significant figures because we have two to begin with. So 5.0 times 10 to the minus 15, that's very low. The H3O plus concentration is much greater, so again, we would label this as acidic. All right. How about this one here? This one's a little different. We're given OH minus concentration, and it's 5.6 times 10 minus the ninth uh, molarity. So let's solve for H3O plus here. Okay. H3O plus, if we solve for it, right, divide by OH minus. This is Kw over the hydroxide. Plugging in our values here from this problem, we get 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 5.6 times 10 to the minus 9 molar. And what do we get? We get 1.8 times 10 to the minus 6. Okay, which concentration is greater? It looks like this is a larger number. So H3O plus is um, more concentrated. We would label that as acidic. All right. Um, you could pause the video and try these other ones and see if you get the same result I do, if you understand the pattern by now. Um, here we are solving for um, H3O plus. We're given the OH minus concentration. So H3O plus is equal to Kw over the hydroxide concentration. And we get 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 1.5 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay. And we get 6.7 times 10 to the minus 12. Okay. If you're getting different numbers for all of these uh, final results, it's because you might need to use parentheses or you're entering scientific notation incorrectly in your calculator. Um, it looks like the hydroxide concentration is in greater concentration. 
So we would label the solution as basic here at the end. All right. In this last problem here again, uh, we're given the hydroxide. Now you might already recognize this situation, but let's go ahead and just calculate it out. Uh, we solve for um, H3O plus, so that's Kw over the hydroxide concentration. We have 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7. And that's equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7 molarity H3O plus. So here, which one is, is lower? Well, they're the same. So that's the only situation that you can have that's neutral, okay? When the two concentrations are equal. Thank you for watching.